Hey Rockstar, Steve aka Void here and today we are going to have a very very serious conversation. If you're a beginner guitar player and you can't play one song from start to finish, you need to watch this video. Now before we get into that, definitely check out Play From Day One if you want me to be your mentor to help you with every decision you need to make on guitar um, so that you can learn more songs, you can play more songs with a lot less practice. I'm talking a lot less practice. Program's called Play From Day One. Day one, playing from the first day that you try. So, if you are a beginner guitar player and you can't play songs, you need to stop wasting your time on scales and exercises. You guys need to understand that I talk to a lot of guitar players every single day and of various levels. And what I find is that a lot of guitar players. First of all, when I ask them, so what songs can you play? Because it's kind of like, um, it's kind of like asking someone like, so um, what did you eat for breakfast? Like typically someone's going to have an answer for that. So for example, like, hey, what did you eat for breakfast? Oh, I had scrambled eggs or what did you eat for breakfast? Oh, I had a bowl of cereal. You know, it's usually a question. Some people might say, oh, I didn't have breakfast, but more often than not, someone's going to say, oh, I had a cup of coffee or someone like there's an answer for that, right? Um, that you expect and because most people will eat breakfast when I ask someone You know what songs can you play? It's more like I'm entering a conversation with them and I'm thinking like it's just gonna be part of the conversation like oh, okay So what songs can you play? Oh, okay I can play some Led Zeppelin and this and that and it's like oh I'm like preparing to like nod my head and talk about the songs and but the conversation never happens because they're like oh I can't play any songs and by the way, this comes after me asking, how long have you been playing? And there's maybe one time or two times where someone said, oh, I just bought a guitar today, or I just bought a guitar yesterday. If they say anything other than I just bought a guitar today, or I just bought a guitar yesterday, like if it was like, oh, I got one on the weekend, or if it was, I got, I've been playing for two months, that's usually what it is, like I've been playing for two months, or I've been playing for two years, or I've been playing for 20 years, that's the typical response. So when I ask that first, how long have you been playing guitar so far, then that answer is usually a pretty substantial amount of time. Um, and you know, even if it is like seven days, and then after that, I go, okay, cool. So what songs can you play? Because that is just a normal question for like, you have, you buy a guitar, you want to play songs, right? And you would not believe how many people will tell me, I can't play any songs. What do you mean? What do you mean, Steve? I can't play any songs. And that's pretty shocking to me. And you might be thinking right now, well, what are you talking about, Steve? Like playing songs, I've got to first be able to do this. And then I first got to be able to do this and then that, and then this and then that. And don't I need to know chords or don't I need to know um, scales or blah, 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 blah. And it's like, no, the first thing that you need to do is you need to be able to play songs. I'm not talking about if you've been playing for guitar for three days, play a full song from start to finish, that you have to do that, but at least be playing music on your guitar. See, what I find most guitar players will do, um, besides wear Cookie Monster pajamas, is you, you'll think that you have to spend your time with the ingredients rather than eating the full meal. And when I'm talking about when I'm talking about ingredients versus the meal, let's talk about food for a second. So scales, exercises, music theory, these are ingredients, okay? Whereas the meal, the finished product, that's the song, all right? Now, what would you rather be eating for dinner? A bowl full of ingredients or a meal on a plate? I would wager that everyone would say, a meal on a plate. I mean, there's some people like on uh, on that show where they eat like flour out of the bag or whatever. But um, besides that, if you're hungry, you want to eat a meal. So you don't want to like if you're hungry and just look at the parallel. You're hungry to play music. You you're you're hungry. You're, you have this passion for playing guitar, and yet you spend your time forming some chords and I've got I've got to know my chords I you play your chord and then you playing let's say like trying to do an, like an F and you're doing that and then you know or maybe you're not maybe you're, maybe you're playing it perfectly but you're spending your time 
on ingredients. Oh, this flour, this this rice flour, this almond flour, this this um, whole wheat flour. Oh, okay. So this salt and this milk and these eggs. You're spending your time with the ingredients rather than quickly putting whipping something up and feeding yourself with the actual food, the actual music. So putting that into actual, put, playing an actual song with that. Playing an actual song. And there's different levels of that. And you know, check out Play From Day One because I'm gonna show you, personally show you how to do different levels. Like if you're just starting to play guitar, there's a different way that you'd play Imagine by John Lennon if that's one of your favorite songs. And then if you've been playing for a while, you'll be able to handle more. So there's different levels of how you can play it. But see, I think it's kind of a BS excuse. Okay, no offense. But and I'm probably gonna, there's probably gonna be a lot of flack on on this video because of what I'm about to say. But stop wasting your time on the ingredients and start playing songs and start playing songs now. And I don't care if you play from start to finish, but start playing songs. Because if you can't play songs, what tends to happen is you start to trick yourself. You start to think that the ingredients are gonna unlock some door. Like for example, if I play my C and then, okay, so I'm gonna form my F and then I'm gonna do, yeah, maybe you could do one skill there with your fingers. You can get your fingers in a certain position and then form another chord and form another chord. I memorized 20 chords this week. And then you know your chords, let's say, or you know how to play some scales, like a spider walk, um, like a chromatic scale, let's say. Or you know how to do your scale. But so what? Like, you've never seen a concert where someone's doing that seriously. So you have your flour, you have your eggs, you have your milk, you have all the different ingredients. You want to make yourself some food, but then you end up with an empty plate. Because when I ask you, what can you play? You say nothing. And then when I ask, okay, well, why? Why can't you play any songs? Usually the answer will consist of, I don't know how to read tab. Um, I don't know how to find the right videos. I don't know, um, or I've heard that playing uh, chords and, and scales and all that is important. So whatever you're being fed or whatever you're believing is taking you away from the actual meal to feed your hunger. Okay, does this make sense? Does it make sense even if you don't fully agree with me? Okay, does this make sense? Why would you, if you're hungry, don't spend time on the ingredients. If you haven't eaten for days, don't spend time on ingredients. If you can't play one song, 100%, your, your focus, don't even think of the word scales or like close all the tabs on your, in your browser, put away all your books, start playing songs until you could get to 10 songs, 10 riffs, even it doesn't matter if it's a full song, but 10 riffs, you need to experience playing real music on guitar because when you do, so if you can't, then you're gonna fool yourself. You're gonna think, oh, that's not that important. But that's only because you're fooling yourself. When you play for the first time, you don't have any idea how many people come into my world not knowing how to play a song. And then I say, okay, well, let's play along with the record. And then when they actually do, it's the best thing they've ever done because it's so much fun. It gives you everything that you need to, to develop as a musician, everything, they've already done all the work for you. Mark Knopfler and David Gilmore and Jimmy Page, they've done all the work for you. You're probably just thinking that you have to play exactly like they do, so you're intimidated or you're overwhelmed or you just don't have the right sources, like you just haven't had good information. Okay, again, playfromday1.com, check it out if you want me to help you, even if you just wanna have a conversation with me and uh, to get you know your head in check in the right direction, strategically learning how to play. If you can't play any songs, you need to be able to experience what it's like to play along with a record. It doesn't matter if what you're playing is simple, but play along with a record. And once you stack up five, 10 songs, 15 songs, I would still keep going. I would do 20. I would do 30 until you, you just, you, you'll understand at that point. See, it's hard to understand before you do something, before you experience something, it's hard to understand. So you come up with excuses. Oh, well, you know, well, since I can't do this, since I can't read a tab, well, then I should just play chords and practice my chords and, and, but those chords aren't musical. Those are just, 
I, yeah, I know how to say this word in Italian, or I know how to say this um, word or this phrase in this like in Spanish, let's say. I know how to do that, but you can't speak. You can't have a conversation with someone. If you if you want to cook, you're not going to just spend your time. Or actually, cooking you spend some time with ingredients, okay? But right now, you don't really have to cook. You just have to eat. The work's already been done for you, especially if you're in a program like Play From Day One. If I'm your mentor, you're gonna be playing from day one. You're gonna be doing the actual, you're gonna be playing music, okay? What's the point of chords? Who cares? Who cares about chords? Who cares about scales? Who cares about exercises? If you can't play, if, you're, if you're, your song, song list is empty, if your plate is empty, okay? What are you preparing for? What are you preparing for? Okay, this is, I know there's a, a little bit of a rant over here. But what are you preparing for? If you've been playing scales and exercises and chords, what's next? Like, what do you think is going to happen? And this is, you know, I've gotten this before. I thought the same thing. I thought that if I could learn some chords, I'm going to be prepared for any musical situation. That's not the case. If you want to be prepared for a musical situation, you need to play songs. Any professional walks into a situation and they they want they want someone like if you if you want to like hop in with a band, let's say you jam with your buddies, you show up there, they're not gonna ask you what chords do you know. It's like they're like, what songs do you know? Do you know this song? Do you know this song? Do you know this song? And you wanna be able to be you wanna be able to play that song along with them. You wouldn't perform at an open mic with just, I know this chord, and I also know, well, I know a power chord, like the, and like just cycling through the things you know. You would never do that. I hope you don't. Those are ingredients. Hey guys, I showed up to the party with a bag of flour and some eggs. It's like, no, you bring a cake, you bring the final product. So you might be thinking again, but Steve, I don't know how to do blank. I don't know how to um, move. My fingers aren't fast enough, or I can't switch chords quick enough, or my fingers, um, my fingers take forever to form even one chord, or I can't keep up with the record, or I can't, I can't. All these excuses and these excuses, especially as grown men, I'm not saying adult men because I mean we're all kind of like 14 years old up here, but as adults. We make up excuses to protect ourselves. Oh, this is too hard. Okay, well, no, no, no. I'm just going to learn for the sake of learning. And listen, I'm not trying to patronize you or anything like that. I'm not. I was in the same boat. Okay. Learning for the sake of learning. Yeah, I mean, you might scratch a niche. I do like learning things. But if it's not directed towards a purpose, especially why did you pick this thing up? When you were excited, come on, be honest. When you were excited, you saw the guitar on the wall and you wanted to play songs. And if you... If you wanted to pick up a guitar because you wanted to learn scales and because you, you were inspired from that uh, Pink Floyd tribute band the night before and you went to the guitar store and you wanted to learn scales, is that why? No, you want to play Comfortably Numb. You want to play the Animals record. You want to play um, the, the, um, wall, the Wall. You want to play, um, basically you want to play music but then you pick up the guitar you realize that it's harder than you thought. And you think that is difficult. I get so many people commenting on my stuff saying, oh yeah, but guitar's hard and this. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Yesterday I was chatting with one of the members from Play From Day One, one of my v VIP members just joined. And he told me he's been taking guitar lessons for, for years now and paying 60 bucks a pop and he still couldn't play one song. And then we chat for literally for, for 10 minutes, okay? And then he plays along with John Mayer, Gravity. Okay, Gravity is a song by John Mayer off the Continuum album. Great song. Plays along with it and says, oh my God, I'm amazed. I can't believe I've never done this before. And that is so tragic to me. Like, I'm so excited for him because this is just his journey is going to be just, it's going to be off the charts, what's about to happen. But I mean, it's so tragic to me because it's like you've been lied to. Okay, you've either been lied to by guitar teachers or you've been lied to by guitar friends, um, videos online, or you're lying to yourself. Okay, so I want this to be a little bit of a reality check, a gut check. If you can't play any songs, please reach out to me 
or reach out to someone who's going to help you play songs the first day that you pick up the guitar and work with them. Because once you play a song, you're going to understand. What have I been missing out on this whole time? What what have I been doing this whole time? Why am I pre- what am I preparing for? With the scale, the scales and the chords and the exercises. All right. Now, let's just flip this for a second. Once you have, let's say 20 songs, then if you want to dig deeper and you want to refine some technique and you want to, yes, you can get into some scales. Oh, I want to understand why do they have that? It's very, a very ethnic sound. Okay. We'll learn the harmonic minor scale for a little bit to understand that like quickly and then start playing some riffs from different guitarists that use that scale. Always come back to music. Okay. Always come back to music. Now, um, Chris, yeah, dude, you're so right about trying to learn uh, chords and scales. Please, 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 please just focus on songs. That's it. Yeah. Like it's, it's, it's crazy how, how we don't. Okay. And Ross, um, Hey Steve, I think part of the problem is when you look at a tab book and it has a dozen chord boxes at the top, you need to realize that you don't have to play it exactly as written. Exactly. Ross, Ross also a member of play from day one. Awesome. Yes, exactly. You don't have to take it face value. It comes from intimidation. It comes from being overwhelmed and we protect ourselves. We protect ourselves from getting hurt. It's a survival mechanism. We protect ourselves from failing. But instead, if you put a record on, let's say you load something up on YouTube, you blast it and you play like you're eight years old and you're not even playing any of the right notes, but you're playing, you're playing and you're just rocking out. That's closer to what you should be doing on guitar than, than playing the formations very slowly and then you're switching to this one. That is not music, my friends. Okay, that's not music. When you're rocking out like a little kid, playing along with the record, that's closer to music, okay? It's closer to music. So get out of your head, scrap the BS, okay? Just have a re, just look yourself in the mirror, have a real gut check and ask yourself, how many songs can I play? If your answer is zero, like many of the guitar players who message me every single day, it's a surprising answer to me, okay? Still to this day, if your answer is zero, then you need to be playing songs, load up a song, figure out the easiest way to play it. If it's bar chords, play it with, with power chords. If it's power chords, play it with single notes. If it's open chords, and you can't do open chords, play it with power chords. Just play along, slow it down if you need to. Okay. Play one time rather than the whole strumming pattern. Play once each chord, single strums, each chord, target practice. Just play within the context of music. You're wasting your time. If you're not, trust me, you're wasting your time. We don't have that much time where you're wasting your time. If you're not playing music, if for a guitar player who can play music, just like, you know, whoa, whoa, whoa. If you, if you, if you like, if you're going to comment and say, well, no, what are you talking about? I play scales and all all the time. And and then like, I've been playing for this long and you need to be playing scales and blah, 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 blah. Like, yeah. Okay. If you have been playing for a long time, then yeah, start exploring some things, the vocabulary. If, if you were just speaking, but you didn't know how to read or you didn't know how to write or anything like that. Yeah. Obviously it's going to make you a better communicator if you're able to do more things. But if you can't talk yet, if you can't speak, if you can't have a conversation with someone, then please, you should be learning everything that you can. Like with learning a language, you learn some simple commands. Okay. You learn some simple things so that you can communicate when you go to another country. All right. You learn some simple things. It's the same thing. It's so that you can have a conversation. It's so that you can eat the food, not the ingredients. You don't want to have an empty plate. Okay. So I know a bit of a rant today, but I just, you guys have to get this. All right. I mean, maybe I'm going to lose a lot of fans over this because well, no, Steve, we need to learn our scales and our chords and our blah, 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 blah. You're in the wrong place. You're in the wrong place. If that's what, what you want to do and you're not going to play songs, you're in the wrong place. Okay. And I'm okay saying that because I want to make sure that you can play songs. That's what play from day one is all about. Okay. I want to make sure you could play songs and I want you to be happy. It's very important for me that to me that you're very, very happy and you're going to be happy playing songs. Even if you're improvising, even if you want to make up your own stuff, your the guitar needs to be in action. And from playing songs, playing your favorite songs, even if you're a writer, like I am, 
learn the song so you're influenced by that so you could write songs in that style learn songs so you could understand how a song moves from one part to another part and how it should flow you know if you're improvising learn your favorite solo so you could impact your style don't be hard-headed it's very very important that you learn songs so that you understand as a guitar player that you're not a scholar trying to just digest information you're it, it's it, you're a musician you're an artist you're playing in music which has musical pulse there's a pulse that you need to follow and the only way to understand that is to play actual songs it's like I'm just gonna prepare 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 I never play a football game and if you do play a football game you'll get crushed because you weren't at practice you never played games you never you weren't part of the team you didn't play football all you did was you studied the game in a book you studied how should I hold the ball should I laces out laces in like should I should I should I hold it with these fingers or this like go play a game get just quick and dirty and then then you start learning the flow of the game the pace of the game okay you'll get crushed you'll get crushed if you just study it so don't waste your time guys stop wasting your time okay and Chris is saying I tend to nail a part of the song and then learn something else that's still fine that is still okay I call that the buffet it's either the marathon or the buffet all right so like if you're at a buffet yeah there's this riff here and there's this riff here and this riff here and this riff here that's fine play along with the record though Chris um, play along with the record if you aren't already so that's how you that's how you're playing for sure actual actual music like if you put on the record you're the guitar player in that situation or the additional guitar player and you play along with the record okay that's when it's like stamped done okay so once you get that, then you've experienced music. I just want you to experience actual music. So put on a record you love, play along with that record. And if you want to move on after the intro or the verse or the chorus, that's fine. But if you never tried playing along with a record, then it's just not music. It's not, you're not playing in a way that a guitar player who wants to get the thing, do the thing, achieve the thing that you originally set out to do, which was play music out of this thing. If you're not playing along with records and you're not playing in a musical context, then in my opinion, you're wasting your time. Okay. And that's probably going to piss off some people. I know that it, my, I have a book, uh, uh, I have a book, uh, an advertisement where I'm holding a book out like this. And I get people who message me with BS comments about how there's no such thing as miracles or the, there's, but you know, just like the weirdest comments about, about guitar playing that like there, because it's this propaganda, this thing that we've been fed and, and we believe it. Okay. And if we, it doesn't come from us trying to like protect ourselves um, because we can't read a tab or we can't do this or can't do that, like reach out to someone, reach out to an expert and just get some help to play music, all right? Now, I am obviously getting a bit fired up about this because it, it's very, very important to me that you're playing songs and that you enjoy yourself with this instrument. Yes, you might enjoy just learning for the sake of learning, okay. But how long is that gonna last? Come on, are, just have a, like a reality check. Just ask yourself, are you doing that because you're, you're settling? Are you just being complacent? You're just like, ah, oh, well, I couldn't do all this other stuff. But you know what? I find the scales very fascinating well, yeah, if someone comes over and wants you to play something on guitar, trust me, you're going to have an incredible experience, a way better experience if you play a song with them and everyone's having a good time rather than just that, well, I know how to play some scales and I'm really studying the blah, blah, blah and just trying to sound smart or trying to, trying to do something. That's all just an excuse, okay? And as our favorite governor, um, Arnold Schwarzenegger, um, once said, there are either excuses or results and you can't have both. So with that said, that is the end of today's rant. There'll probably be a lot more because I get into this conversation every day. Check out play from day one. If you want me to mentor you to learn how to learn songs on demand and play more songs with less practice, this skill that where you have fun playing the guitar. Okay. None of this crap, where you're studying and taking lessons for years and not getting a result. Okay. I'm, t I'm done with that. I'm probably going to be a lot more, 
um, brash about this and a lot more there'll probably be some more rants because to some degree this pisses me off like when I see people not succeeding at something that's so easy to succeed at and you might say well no Steve it's not easy for me I don't have this or I don't have this or my fingers are like this or blah blah no what I'm saying is it's so easy because we find the way for you to succeed whether you have all of your fingers whether they work properly my, my thumb's been kind of actually hurting um, lately and a um, little plug for um, for a friend's company here handmaster mine's all ruined here mine's so old but I've taken this all over the world handmaster plus this thing is incredible every single time I use it for one day one day any symptom of tendonitis or um, anything I'm gonna I'm gonna check out um, I'm gonna do do one today I haven't done one for a little while but I do it once squeeze 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 um, stretch squeeze stretch do one rep until failure and then it's um, and then I'm, I'm good to go the next day. But anyway, you might make some excuses. You might say this or that. Or that. We find the, the way to play the song for you, okay? Rather than trying to match the song at the song skill level, you take the song skill level and you match it to you. And that's how you play from day one. And yeah, Chris, my book, Practice Less, Play More. If you go to practicelessplaymore.com, you'll be able to buy that and, um, and check that out. It's um, that book is my best wisdom on, on manifesto of how to learn. It's an extension of what I'm talking about now. Scrap the scales, scrap the exercises. You don't need them. Everything you need is inside the songs, okay? And if you want me to mentor you, to show you how to do this stuff from day one, check out playfromday1.com. You're gonna, it's an invite only program, so you're gonna have to add your name to a waiting list and uh, fill out some questions. And if I feel like it's a good fit, if it'll be a good match, then I'll reach out to you and we can continue our chat. Um, all right, <sighs> catching my breath over here. I'm passionate about this because it's important to me, guys. You're important to me. And if you just wanna open your mind that to know there's another way. Look, there's a lot of crap out there. I hate what I see out there uh, in guitar lesson uh, world, the guitar lesson world. There's a lot of good guys. There are a lot of good guys for sure. And there are other guys who are just feeding you a bunch of crap. All right. Bunch of crap that they just were fed when they started learning. And you don't need that. You need to be playing songs. Yeah, you could. There's so much time after you've played some songs. There's so much time to dig, dig deeper. But there's, what, what are you digging for? If you don't know how to play any songs, what are you digging for? It's this illusion, this, this belief, this hope that if I learn all of this stuff, if I learn these chords and I have this vocabulary of scales and music theory, I'm going to be able to do this. Well, you know what the reality is? You're going to have an empty plate. The majority of people will have an empty plate. And then you'll start getting into learning mode up here rather than playing mode up here or down <laughs> up here, down here. Okay. You're going to have a much better time once you experience just getting a taste of what it's like to play okay and as a guitar player look I've toured all over the world I've opened some of the biggest stages I've performed with my childhood favorite band in front of 60,000 people they paid me they paid me to do it I've experienced what it's like on every facet of the studio stage and inside uh, coaching environment and Every single one, the most important thing where people had a great time was when they were playing music, playing songs. Okay? So don't fool yourself. Don't fool yourself that learning for the sake of learning is what you should be doing. Or I should be learning the scales. And well, if your song list is empty, stop wasting your time with scales and exercises. All right, my friends? Check out playfromday1.com if you want me to mentor you. If you like what I'm saying, if you want, if you if you enjoyed this video, and you just you know, if you know, if there's someone who this can help, please share this video. Please share this video with them. They need to see it. Okay, it's a long rant. Give them a warning that a lanky Italian kid from Canada is going to tell them things that they may not want to hear. Okay, look in the mirror, have a gut check, ask yourself how many songs can I play? How many songs do I feel confident playing? And that'll tell you what to do next. All right. All right, guys. I hope you guys have a great weekend. And uh, we'll talk soon. Take care.